Hey there, Rockets. It is a short news week. We've only got two days of news programs for you. I know that many of you will be celebrating Thanksgiving this week, and we have so many things to be thankful for. I'm thankful for a two day news week because <laughs> it's a lot less for me to edit, but I know many of us are also thankful for two very important people. Without these two people, technology at Crossfield would be crazy. So let's have a throwback this morning and let's be thankful for Eelman and Felt. Hello, Madam President. Yes, yes, I see. I know just the people for the job. When you think the world is coming to an end, well, who's the team on who you can depend? Eelman and Felt. They're on the road. Eelman and Felt, they'll carry any load. Eelman and Felt, they're saving the school. Because tech support is totally cool. Saving the school, totally cool. They're on adventures, making new friends. When they're by your side, the fun will never end. Dressing up in style, human and felt, they'll go the extra mile. Human and felt, they'll lend a hand because their skill sets are highly in demand. And when you think our hope is lost, 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 they'll bail you out at any cost. Key change. They're here to win. They'll help the helpless again and again and again. Good morning, Crossfield. My name is Lucas, and I'm here reporting for WCES News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we begin a new day, let us pause for the moment of silence. great week to celebrate with all our Crossy community. So let's enjoy this Monday with some birthdays. It's Monday Rockets. Let's check out a book talk all about a great book 
you can pick up in the library at Curbside Pickup. Astra's family is moving. And we know road trips can be exhausting when you're stuck in the car for hours on end with your parents and your siblings. Whew, it's just too much. Astra wishes her trip were that short. You see, her new home is 199 years away. Sounds impossible, right? But everyone will be frozen until they get there. Now, before going into hibernation for almost two centuries, Astra decides she needs a snack. I mean, do you want to go 200 years on an empty stomach? Yeah, me neither. Well, she asks one of the ship's computers for a cake so delicious, it's scary. But before the machine finishes, Astra is put into hibernation without her snack. Now, when Astra wakes up from her journey, something isn't quite right. It hasn't been 200 years, and everyone else is still asleep. And something pink, delicious, and totally vicious is hiding deep inside the ship. And don't forget that curbside pickup is going on today. Hopefully I will get to see some of you from 1145 to 1245, or if you can't make it, come see me from 3.30 to 5.30. I've got a bunch of books for a bunch of rockets ready to go before this long week. And please don't forget to bring back your library books. Right now, we have over 550 books out from the library. So if you still have books at home, you can come and drop them off with me tomorrow, right in front of Crossfield, or to the black bin that will be out front as well. Thanks, Rockets. For your motivational quote for the week, Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. When you think you have failed, use it as a way to help you learn and continue to grow. We won't always be successful in everything, and that's okay. Use your mistakes as a way to find new and interesting ways to succeed. Have a magnificent Monday, Rockets. See you here tomorrow on WCES. <laughs>